Hi, my name is Ashish and in this part we are going to cover Azure Content Delivery Network which is also known as CDN. CDN is not only specific to Azure, CDN in general is called as Content Delivery Network. Azure also provide its this Content Delivery Network part as a managed service that you can use on Azure portal. So let me just first check the official documentation of Azure CDN and then we'll proceed further doing the few, few further videos on this topic. So this is the official Microsoft Azure documentation on Azure CDN. It says Azure CDN is a global CDN solution for delivering high bandwidth content. It can be hosted in Azure or any other location. With Azure CDN, you can cache static objects loaded from Azure Blob Storage, web application, or any publicly accessible web server by using the closest point of presence server, which is also known as POP. Azure CDN can also accelerate dynamic content, which cannot be cached by leveraging various networks and routing optimizations. I know this is really hard if you are new to CDN terminology, but when I'll, when I'll proceed with the working on with the practical sessions and show you what exactly is this definition more technical definition is talking about you'll be able to relate these things and you can further watch this video again if you want to relate the practical sessions as well so it says what is content delivery network a cdn is distributed network of servers that can efficiently deliver web content to users so suppose you are a user sitting in india you are accessing a website in let's say usa which is hosted on a server so every time you access a website you get a reply here then you again access a website you get a reply back that causes a delay in getting a response from a website right so what it does is azure cdn offers developers a global solution for rapidly develop, delivering high bandwidth content to users by caching their content at strategic <coughs> strategically strategic Digitally placed physical nodes across the world. I'm sorry. I stuck on that strategically word Azure CDN can also accelerate dynamic content which cannot be cached by leveraging various network optimization Using CDN pops, which is point of presence CDN would give you better performance and improved user experience for end users large scaling to better handle instantaneous high loads such as the start of product and launch event, distribution of user request, and serving of content directly from its server so that less traffic is sent to the origin server. So this is what CDN in nutshell is. I know you've seen the how it works part, but I'm going to cover that how it works part in the next video. So stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. If you're watching this on the free course that I've hosted on the Teachable. And if you have any feedback, please mention on the comment section. Thank you. Have a great day.